Building with commands can be a bit overwhelming, especially for beginners. You don't know where to start, well, I mean, World Edit is obviously a good place to start, but you don't know what commands you need versus what commands you don't need. There's just so many of them out there. So I'm going to give you my top 10 commands that I use that I think are the most useful to learn, and maybe this will help you get a good starting point. I actually have a lot of tutorials out there, mostly for World Edit. And not surprisingly, I don't even use the majority of the commands that I teach you about. More or less, those tutorials just exist to show you all the available options. But in this video, I'm just going to cover the ones that I use the most and all the ones that I find to be the most helpful. Before I get into this list, it was a lot harder than I thought to narrow it down to only 10 commands, so I'm going to put a list of a bunch of common commands on the screen. I would recommend starting with all of these commands, these are all the basic commands that everyone should know in standard world edit. And the top 10 list will be more specialty commands, although some might be more common than others, but these are the commands I find to be the most helpful in my builds. Number 10 has to be the sphere brush from world edit. I know that's kind of a common one, but it's also one that I feel like I use a lot. Pretty much every single build, because every single organic I make starts with Sphere Brush. It is definitely a command I cannot live without, whether I need to build out a basic shape of something, or even use it to carve away shapes, which is also helpful. I'm not going to teach you how to use the Sphere Brush in this video, but I do have a world at a tutorial that can teach you if you don't know anything about it. Anytime I do use a sear brush, I must also always use the blend ball brush from a voxel sniper. I don't use very many voxel sniper commands, but this is my favorite one to smooth shapes. I don't really see the need to use any others because they all practically do the same thing, so I just use this one. If you're not familiar with how to use this command, you do need to have voxel sniper on a server. This does not work on single player, I need to clarify that and you'll use the arrow to push shapes down and smooth them, and the gunpowder to do the opposite to pull shapes out. So swapping back and forth between those two items will alternate how you are applying that command. And while this doesn't get everything perfect because it is just a brush, it does save a lot of time before I have to go in and manually fix things by hand because yes, brushes aren't perfect. And honestly, smoothing by hand is far superior. Number 8. This is just a simple replace command, but with the tilde mask. So in addition to knowing ordinary replace, which I did put that on the screen of commands that you should know how to use, the tilde mask with fast async world edit is super helpful because this allows you to replace around blocks and make them bump out, if you will. I do cover this more in my mask tutorial if you want to see me demonstrate it further. But this is definitely a command that I have used quite often and I cannot live without. My number 7 command is actually a selection type, and that is the poly selection. The default selection type everyone is familiar with is the cuboid selection, the second most common being the convex selection because that is used for making curves or spikes, more on that later. But the poly selection is one I only started using a little over a year ago, or maybe a year and a half at this point but it has proven to be one of the most useful commands, and I can't imagine how I managed without it for so long. I do have a tutorial for this selection type, as well as other world edit selection types. A link for that, as well as links for pretty much everything I'm talking about, I will put a tutorial for it in the description. If you struggle to make a nice straight line on any angle, perhaps you need to start using the line brush in Voxel Sniper. I'll have to consider doing voxel sniper tutorials in the future, it's just that I really only use two commands, so I'd have to teach myself more before I can teach it to you. But let's talk about that line brush now. To use this command, you just type out the B line command, and if you want to change the material you are using, you would just do slash voxel and then the block ID. Then using the arrow, right click where you want the first point to be, and using the gunpowder, right click to place the second point and the line will automatically connect. As far as I know, this is the only command that can make straight lines like this. Number 5, I really love the blend brush from Archeon. Technically, this is a sphere brush with a pattern of blend. That's what the pound symbol is for. 
This isn't a command I use in every single build, but when I do need it, I am very grateful it exists. That is why I am putting it on this list. Simply stated, all it is is you make a sphere brush with the pattern of blend, and you can change the size of the brush like normal, and using that brush on two different types of blocks will blend those colors as best as it can. You do have to be careful not to overuse it though, because it's very easy for you to click one too many times and get a color blended in that you don't want. But even if you're just using it to figure out a good gradient to use, it's really helpful for that. Another very useful command for you to know is the revolve command from Archeon. I understand that not everyone will have access to Archeon, but seriously, this command is so useful. Doing exactly what you'd expect it to do, you can copy a shape around a circle or create a perfect circular shape with a very interesting edge, or even create a spiral. There's so many applications for it, for anything circular, and it's a lot easier than copying, rotating, and pasting, and repeating that over and over to get the same effect. Alright, now for the top three, these are actually what I would consider my favorite commands as of right now. Of course, this could change in the future, but as of right now, these top three certainly are my favorite ones to use. Number three is the Replace tool. This is a brush that comes with Fast Async World Edit, and to use it, you just have to have some kind of tool or weapon in your hotbar to use as a brush, then type out the command and an ID number. I always just do REPL1 because it's faster to type, but the number doesn't really matter because it's going to change anyway. With the brush made, you can left click a block to make that block your material, and right click a block to replace it to that material. And the reason I love this command so much is it saves so much time when you have a lot of texturing to do and you have all these colors you're working with, you can very quickly switch back and forth between the different colors and work on it. Now granted, you can only do one block at a time, but honestly, I prefer hand texturing anyway and I think it always looks so much better, and this is my favorite way to do it. My second favorite command of all time is the spike command, although I am including curve here too because they basically do the same thing. Spike is just a fancier version of the curve command with a little more options, which is why I have both of them listed. You will need Archeon to use the spike command, but the regular curve command does come with standard world edit. Anytime you need to make something curvy, like a tree branch, or hair, or anything else that requires curve, you could use the world edit curve command, which will keep the same thickness all the way through, or the Archeon spike command, which will do the same thing, but allow you to adjust the thickness on one end versus another, and thereby the ability to create curving spikes. Definitely one of the most useful commands out there, but still, nothing can beat number one. Of course, it's the loft command from Archeon. What else would it be? Anyone that knows me would have guessed that this would be my number one command because you can use it for literally anything and it saves so much time. I've used it for cloth, grass, hair, flowers, wings, water, rocks, just to name a few things. Literally it can be used for anything and it's kind of overpowered if you ask me. I do have a tutorial on how to use loft that you can go check out if you want to learn more about it. I suppose I should mention there is another command that does virtually the same thing as loft but just not as easily, and that's the spline brush from Fast Async World Edit. If you don't have access to Archeon, you could technically do fabrics using this command, although it is a little bit trickier to get used to using. I'm not really an expert at using it, which is why I don't have a tutorial on it yet, but there is a tutorial that I can link to in the description if that's something you're interested in. If you want to be able to do things like Loft, but you don't have access to it yet, I'll just go ahead and throw a link in there and you can check it out. I think that's the end of my list. Keep in mind, these are really just the commands that I find myself using most often in my builds. I know that every builder works differently, everyone has their own set of commands they use. There's also so many more commands that I don't know already, so these are just of the ones I do know, the ones I use the most. So I hope it helps give you a good starting point on what you should start learning or what you need to know. You honestly don't even need to know that many commands. Most of what building is, is what you are able to visualize and replicate into Minecraft. It has nothing to do with your knowledge of commands. 
because we all know commands can't do the build for you. The build is done with your creativity. So don't feel pressured to learn every command out there. Just learn the ones that you need to know or ones that you know will help improve your process. If you have a favorite command, feel free to share it with me because I don't really know every single command out there and I'd be curious to know what you find the most helpful, but this is my list and I hope you liked it. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you some other time. Bye!